Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com, the website that helps you with your library promotions. If you'd like to suggest a topic for a future episode, head to the website, click on the Library Marketing Show tab, and you can send me a direct email. Also, if you have not yet done it, please subscribe to my channel below, click the big red subscribe button so that you can get notified every time I upload these videos. All right, today's topic ties back to an article that I posted a few weeks ago on Super Library Marketing. It was about my favorite session at ALA 2022, the conference, and it was led by two researchers from Portland who are trying to figure out the reading habits and book buying habits of Gen Z and millennial readers. And part of that study had to do with Amazon. The two researchers had an hypothesis. They were trying to discover how libraries could compete with Amazon. So here are the findings that they made that are specific to competition with Amazon. I wanted to go through them with you today so you can start to think about this at your library. Number one, the readers in the study love the fact that it's so easy to use Amazon. You can even do one click checkout on Amazon. And to use your library card can sometimes be a bit more difficult, especially for readers who prefer ebooks and audiobooks. Every vendor has a different login and a different app. And you may be saying to yourself, there isn't a whole lot that I can do about that, Angela. And that's kind of true and also not true. I think libraries as a whole and the library industry needs to be more, I don't want to use the word aggressive, but we need to be more firm with our vendors about the fact that we want our online access to books to be much easier. It needs to be a one step checkout. So let's get a little more firm with them about that. And then also try to change things that are within our control to make it easier for people to find books at the library. And speaking of finding books, the other thing this study uncovered is that the folks who use Amazon find it very easy to find books on Amazon. It's real, it's a category in the drop down menu, or they can just like type in a word and books just pop up. I work with a lot of libraries in my day job, so I have to look at a lot of library websites. And 95% of the time, the homepage is dedicated to programs and services. And it, you have to like know where to look to find the books. And I think that's a very easy fix. If you want to connect with your readers and promote your collection, and remember readers are our core fan base for libraries, we should be focusing on them with as much vim and vigor as we do with programs. You're gonna wanna make sure the books are super easy front and center on your website to find. And this kind of ties together with the next point of the study. The folks who like using Amazon to find books love the fact that Amazon knows what they read and offers them suggestions based on their past reading activity. Now, if you were here last week, you know that I put out a video about um, privacy and email considerations. That video is up above, I'll link there if you haven't had a chance to see it. If you watch it, go look at the comments because there's a great discussion happening in the comment section around reader data. And a lot of libraries feel very uncomfortable about keeping track of the reading history of readers, but readers love it. And so I just wanted you to sit with that for a minute, because I think we're either going to have to, we're going to have to reconcile with it at some point. Either we're going to have to say we're, we're not saving data and we're just going to be okay with not competing with Amazon, or we're going to have to figure out a way to use reader data to make suggestions to readers for their next book. And that can be a discussion you have at your library, at your state library level, or down in the comments section below, because I have a feeling this was the one that's going to um, be the most controversial. But I'm just telling you what they found in the study, so that's something to think about. The final thing they found was people really love the fact that Amazon has a great delivery infrastructure. And libraries have come a long way in convenience. We have a lot of drive throughs we have um, 24 hour lockers for people to check out books. The next step would be home book delivery. So noodle that around in your head a little bit. Is there some way that your library can compete with Amazon on the home delivery front? Cause that may be a differentiating factor and that might be just the thing that helps us get ahead of Amazon. Okay. Lots of interesting findings there. I'm sure you have many comments. Go down to the comment section below. Let me know what you think. 
Also, again, go to superlibrarymarketing.com to suggest a topic for a future episode or to nominate your library or another library or librarian for kudos. Kudos this week is a specific individual. There is a woman named Vicki Selinger who is working at the Castle Rock Library in the state of Washington. She was nominated for kudos by someone from the Washington State Library. And there's a news article about her that I'm going to put down in the show description. Here's the thing. Vicki is a librarian that is not getting paid. This is the second time in a month that I have talked on the show about a library that has a librarian that is not getting paid. This is a problem. Um, this particular article is about the fact that the voters in this particular area are not funding the library. And I think libraries need to be a little more aggressive about talking about how a lack of funding impacts the community as a whole. Vicki has a lot of really great thoughts about that. Please go down and look at that uh, article about her and maybe you can reach out to her and offer her support or maybe we can figure out a way in the comment section of this video to help Vicki out. But I just want to give her kudos because she is running that library as a volunteer all by herself and keeping that community space open because she feels so passionate about it. And so I think she deserves kudos. Good job to you, Vicki. I hope that levy, there's a, there's a vote coming up in November and I hope that funding passes for you. Please subscribe to my channel, comment below, let me know what you think. Once again, thank you for spending time with me this week and I'll see you next time.